stickers all the way down and we'll show how you have how we have it rigged up right now you'll want to uh, basically install this power pack wherever you want and then get the proper length hose uh, here to where you can install this power pack at a uh, you know wherever would be uh, out of the way some folks put it on top of the machine you know you could do that but uh, right now it's just loose um, there's a picture of the motor and the hydraulic pump hydraulic fluid reservoir and for testing purposes we just have a lead uh, here and then a separate lead here so match just using the uh, you know uh, forward and reverse basically to to turn the pump the directions we want to operate the air cylinder so it's pretty basic uh, primitive for testing but it shows you that the uh, the baler is functioning and uh, it has this control panel we're not using this as of now but you can have someone wire that up for you um, we just wanted to demonstrate that it does uh, hydraulically work, mechanically work, um, and you can see we just got the power pack sitting on pallets just for testing purposes so our hoses would reach, uh, but it's in good working order and pretty heavy, uh, heavy built. Uh, all of the welds are very robust. Most of the time we get these balers in, they are... Uh, they're beat up, but this one's not, that's not the case on this one. It is used, but, uh, you know, even on the door, um, you can't really see a whole lot of wear, which is a, a really good thing on a used baler. So here's some folks that build it. Um, if you got any questions, I'm sure they could uh, get parts for the cylinder if you ever had any issues, but the cylinder looks good. Um, don't know what else what else to show you but it's a good heavy built machine and it's in working order if you have any questions you can give us a call 304-273-0795 thank you